So you might be trying to figure out how you can use standby mode on your particular iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your settings application and you want to make sure you're on iOS 17 or above. If you are not on iOS 17 or above, that's basically going to be one of the problems that you're going to run into. So just make sure you're updated on that you know, particular version of iOS. Now what you're going to want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see a little option that says standby. So there should be a little standby option that comes up right here. All you're going to want to do is tap onto standby. Now when you do that, this little page is going to come up. Now what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and basically make sure standby mode is enabled just like this. When you actually read the standby mode option right here, it'll say things like standby will turn on when iPhone is placed on its side while charging. So now all you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and plug in your iPhone to its charger. So most chargers will end up working. So plug in your iPhone and then all you're going to want to do then is go ahead and put it on its side. And then while your phone is off, it'll automatically come into standby mode. And that really is all you're going to have to do. Now at the same time, you'll see night mode. You'll see some other options here that you can go and toggle on and off. So what you're going to want to do is you can go and configure this whichever way you want to. You can go ahead and enable night mode if you want to. You can even show notifications here. You can show preview on tap only. There's a lot of other things you can basically go ahead and kind of configure whichever way you want to. So that's another thing. Like I said, if you're running into problems where for some reason night mode is not working, what you can do is you can tap into general, software update, go ahead and update your iPhone. That's another thing you can try doing as well. So those are the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.